President Barack Obama ordered 1,200 troops to the U.S.-Mexico border in May to beef up border protection. Cronkite News reporter Pilar Arias recently traveled to Tucson to find out what's going on with Operation Copper Cactus. Operation Copper Cactus is now underway in Arizona. Video provided by the U.S. Border Patrol shows National Guard soldiers on duty along the Arizona-Mexico border. And we adhere to a strict guidelines for rules for the use of force. They're also equipped with every piece of equipment that they need to, say, to safely and uh, successfully execute that mission. The units and agencies working along the border came together in Tucson to give Arizonans an idea of how the joint enforcement effort is working. The majority of the guardsmen, soldiers, serving entry identification teams along the border between ports of entry to help detect and deter the movement or attempted entry of illegal aliens or contraband. The Border Patrol was sure to say that even though the National Guard has arrived, the soldiers are there only to assist. National Guardsmen, National Guardsmen will have no direct law enforcement role in the apprehension, custodial care, or security of those who are detained. Many will serve at the Mariposa Port of Entry and an entry identification team site in Nogales. About half of the soldiers are volunteers from Arizona. Many of these soldiers and airmen have multiple combat deployments behind them. Uh, several soldiers recently returned from Iraq and Afghanistan and they raised their hand to support this mission. Operation Copper Cactus started October 1st and will be in effect for one year. In Tucson, Pilar Arias, Cronkite News. Tucson Sector Border Patrol Chief Victor Manjarez also said that since Operation Copper Cactus has been in effect, the soldiers and airmen have helped capture 400 illegal immigrants.